Greetings and salutations. We will be reacting to um Hat Nurse twenty eighteen, just to let you know. Looks like Betty's the Heather Duke in this relationship. <sighs> also, how did I manage to knock a ball that far? By the way, support the official release. I should have said that at the beginning. Why didn't I? Oh, blood. It looks like it's still running, though. So did this murder just happen and somebody forgot all about it? How did nobody else find this? <whistles> Holy shit. It is a sunflake, bro. Oh, that's really what you're thinking. Shady. I am not dead. <laughs> also, can you mention how dumb this thing song is? This thing song is shit. No offense to what you made it. It's just a shit you can just climb stuff. Oh, look, she's going to cry. Ugh, it sounded like some anime girl trying not to, you know. Oh, this one like she's so being sad. penetrated. I'll never forget how kind Heather was from... Oh, please. That was a mythic Parker. bitch. Trailer Parker. Heather made fun of her every day for being totally hamburger helpless. Wait. My thoughts and prayers are with Heather Chandler's family from Ram. <laughs> Why is that laughing? messages of love. Jesus, Julie. This is what we get for trying to save Westerberg? Yep. We should have known. People are so predictable. It's like, celebrity of the week dies. Oh, let me post about how truly devastated I am about the tragic loss of Robin Williams. You know, Flubber was a very formative film for me. Or up next on the American carousel of tragedy, another poor black kid gets shot. Let me insert myself into this incredibly complex racial issue. Not because I actually give a shit, but just so I can help define who I am. And now, okay, he's Westerver's actually not very own Heather like Chandler that, dies. But he's still boring. God, I hope I can find a pic of us together so I can rack up on some sympathy likes. People will find any way to make someone else's tragedy just another plot twist in their very own grief opera. Yeah, we don't bash that moral over everybody's heads. Well, maybe we're just being too harsh. Maybe some of them actually cared about Heather. Regardless, Heather got what she deserved. JD, you might not have seen it, but Heather was my friend. Ah! You hated her. I hate all my friends. Wow! I mean I want them dead. So why'd you do it then? Wow! Do wow! Wow! I do not hate all of my friends. You're right. Next, I'm sorry. Come here. Let me hug you. You too. We did something. Fine. Yay! We killed Heather. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Stressed out. We both saw Heather die with our own eyes. Yeah, sure, die. And Maybe we gave Chandler this cup because rest. Matt hates him whenever she says the word fuck. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just, just... I'm just stressed out. Veronica. Oops. Hey, I care about you. Ronnie, if you're gonna put Go the blanket home, over our heads, at least sleep. try not to let it drip in front of the screen. What do you think I'm doing? Mm. You're right. Here we go. That's better. This is all very dumb. Yes, I think what gave you that idea. Literally everything. 
I want my trench coat back. Honestly, I think everybody would have liked him a little bit more if he had his trench coat. He doesn't act the way a psychopath should. He's just too cold about it. Psychopaths, sure, they can be cold, but not this emotion place. He's like calling robots. He's a robot. They turned me into a fucking robot. They turned me into a fucking robot. musical nod. I was wearing a blue robe similar to Heather's red one. I wish I had your robe. To be honest, I'd rather stay dead. It makes more sense to the plot. I'm Hold it. Hello, Veronica. Okay, that just happened. So, is this going to be similar to musical where, like, we see ghosts? Dreadful and I could, I know. Oh wait, no, I'm alive. Heather's alive. Me. It's what true. The Last I'm night alive. I attempted suicide. I know, I know, it's cliche, but we all end up in a dark place sometimes, and I just needed to be with my best friend. So do I completely forgive her for fucking trying to but, murder me? JD, isn't that great? Heather's alive. It's like it's like nothing ever happened. To be honest, I never really did happened? want her to die, so... Technically, I should have these old pills. Poison pills, like from a fairy tale or something. I can't for the life of me remember who gave them to me, but there they were. Uh -oh. In my hour of suicidal desperation. So I dropped one into a bag of corn nuts, and then... Smash. Landed face first in my beautiful... All glass coffee table. I want my coffee table back. But then a miracle happened. The poison pill didn't break. When I finally came to, I threw up, and there it was, completely intact. Because well, we didn't see episode one, one but we know enough of what goes reports. on in that episode to know. Literally, episode. millions of people all over the world moved by my journey. I realized that this happened to me for a reason. What?